Hey guys, Penguin Recordings here, and in this video we're going to be looking at the CSGO benchmark once again as requested by quite a couple of you. This time with a focus on the AMD side on my latest R9 390 card. So a couple of things to note before we get started, this is going to be Catalyst 15.9 on Ubuntu and Catalyst 15.7.1 on Windows. That said, DirectX 9 is being used on the Windows side and OpenGL 3 is being used on the Ubuntu side. Two things to note here is that um, the Windows has an advantage for two reasons. Number one is that AMD support is superior on the Windows platform. Usually the Linux side trails behind in terms of support, functionality, and generally performance. Lastly, we have something that I'm going to show a graphic here to give you a better understanding. The Windows side graphics will be rendered in DirectX 9, then given to the driver, then passed on to the hardware. But on the Linux side, it is being rendered first in DirectX 9, translated to OpenGL, then to the driver, then once on the last part to the hardware. So what's happening here is that this is a Source 1 engine, and so they quick ported it using this 2GL layer. This means the Linux side has overhead, so we are going to lose some frames to that. Unlike Dota 2, which is now Source 2. Hopefully CSGO goes to Source 2 in the future, but at least for now this is what we've got. So let's go ahead and see the results. Jumping right off the bat, we're going with 720p minimum settings, and we are seeing on average a 112 frames per second difference which is pretty large with the Windows side leading. Maxing everything out to 720p maximum settings, we see that the frame rates on average are 70 frames per second difference. It's a decrease previously, but still Windows is in the lead. Pushing the resolution up to 1080p, still minimum settings. We are seeing 120 frames per second difference with Windows in the lead again. So it's pretty large on average difference there. But once we max everything out at 1080p maximum settings, we are only seeing about 56 frames per second difference on average. But Windows is still in the lead with this Source 1 port, sadly. So a side-by-side -side comparison here. On the left side is Ubuntu 15.04. And on the right side is Windows 10. So this should give you an idea of what I'm seeing. This time around, I'm using the same frame rate counters which is the steam one so hopefully there's no one alleging that it's not fair for one system or the other i really am trying to make these things as uh reproducible as possible and realistic but there's only so much i can do if i have made any mistakes though please continue to point them out so as you can see here as we're running through this is 1080p maximum settings we are seeing anywhere from uh, 50, 30 frames per second difference. Sometimes it will even edge out to about 80 frames per second difference, but those are uh, short gaps only. Those are the ones that result in the large frames per second differences. But the average all around is the difference really is usually about 56 frames per second difference. I can't imagine what it would be like if we removed the 2GL layer altogether, but this is what we currently have, so these are the results. Alright, summary time. So as can be seen here, we are seeing quite a difference in frames per second compared to the Windows side. Overall, the Windows side does lead, but not as much as it used to. Now in the past, I would previously expect about 50% of the performance, maybe less sometimes even. This time, we're definitely getting more than that. But still, this performance disparity means one very important thing here. Lower end hardware will suffer. Alright, so generally if you're seeing a 50 to 100 frames per second difference, the lower end hardware that experiences that will lose a lot and maybe even lose playability. To me personally, however, this doesn't really affect my current stance. I can play CSGO perfectly on Ubuntu because I only have a 60Hz monitor and even if I were to upgrade to a 120Hz monitor, I'd still be above the threshold. I still have excess frames per second. Still, I hope that AMD improves both their closed and open source drivers so that I have a better choice in the future. I went with the Catalyst drivers this time around because my previous benchmark just a day ago showcased that the Radeon SI drivers performed less optimally compared to Catalyst 15.9 at least in terms of CSGO which is why I went with the better driver for this benchmark. So that's it for this uh, benchmark video guys. If I've made any mistakes please let me know in the comments below. Provide your constructive criticism and I hope you enjoyed watching this, got something useful out of it and thank you for watching.